Well, that didn't quite go how I thought it would. <laughs> Hello everyone and welcome, welcome back to the Crescent Bay Saga, where we are here with our uh, Vima, our descendant of a very famous fairy godmother who doesn't seem to have any magic powers herself, but she does know how to use a few good skills and a few good curses, and she's about to use one of those curses on a no good werewolf who just stomped into her house. She might have to put up with her... Uh, future sister-in-law, who is indeed a werewolf, but she doesn't need any other werewolfy dogs in the house. And to my surprise, it seems like the leader of the Wild Fang pack, Rory Oaklo, actually happened to go ahead and maybe pick up on a weird scent. And so she came into our house and introduced herself to flirtily, I thought, because she was feeling really flirty. I think she was curious about what that amazing scent was. But when she actually found Vima, she immediately got angry and like screamed at Vima and walked away before I could show you guys. So we're not going to go ahead and put up with any of that. We're going to go ahead and lie about career because Vima would absolutely insist, you know, to be fair to some degree for her own protection, that she is the like descendant of a very famous fairy godmother who may still be around. Thank you very much. She has plenty of those anti-aging potions. So we're going to lie about our career. And then we're going to claim to be a criminal mastermind as a way to kind of threaten her. And then we're going to insult her once, but then we're going to go to convince her to go streaking as a way of seeing if I could use like a curse against her. Because I think that would be kind of interesting. But yeah, Rory, also unpleasant conversation. And I've never had to use like the convince thing. Oh! Were we not able to convince her? I really wanted her to... Don't talk about the sunny weather. I like... Uh, nobody likes an overbearing Beatri Beatrice. That's not a common saying. Oh, well. Ugh. All right. So shouldn't be overbe overbearing. You know what? We're going to go ahead, order her to clean. And if that doesn't work... Oh, these two are really getting angry at each other. But you came in here. I feel like Rory feels gypped because she was like, I thought I smelled something interesting. But instead, it's this person. Like, what on earth is this? Uh, And then let's have her go away. Just like, get out of my house. That's right. Get out of here. You're not. Get out of my bathroom. Oh my gosh, if we could curse you, this may be the thing that pushes Vima over the edge and makes her want to go ahead and really start learning how to get into curses. Uh, but let's see, can I convince, like, get out of here. <laughs> Send home. There we go. Yeah, now we'll go ahead and get her out of here. Vima had more than enough of that. Thank you very much. Uh, and I think we'll let her have a little lie down because that was exhausting. And being the delicate and somewhat dramatic flower that Vima is, I'm sure she wants to go ahead and just forget that ever happened. She might even need to go soothe her emotions somewhere else by talking to somebody else. So we'll see how that works out. Meanwhile, I think we're hanging out with another werewolf with Vima. Here we are! <laughs> I think she must be kind of jealous that the other werewolves have enough control of their abilities that they can actually transform anytime they want, which is not something that our little hothead is able to do yet. Also, she's cold? Not hot enough from failed fire dance. Oh, I wonder what happened. Also, chat with Lou, so that would do her social up. Uh, what does she want to do? She wants to try to calm down the mirror, grill hot dogs, and collect a new metal. Well, let's try scavenging a little bit more. I really want to be able to level up so we can see what the next rank of werewolf ability is. But in order to do that, we either need to be able to scavenge to howl. So we might scavenge and see if we can find anything, and then we'll howl. And if that still doesn't work... <laughs> Uh, I think we'll actually, oh yeah, we'll head over here. Or maybe like, cause we were spooked away from the library. So maybe we'll hang out here today at this lot and we'll go ahead and we'll see what the food truck has. Uh, oh, what's this? Oh, this place is cool. I wish you could walk down here. Cool. Oh my gosh. GeekCon is going on, but like we don't have the money to go into Sam Myshuno. That's the big city. Are you crazy? All right. We didn't find anything. Maybe one more help? 
If that doesn't do it, we're gonna go yell at some of the tourists. <gasps> that did it! Anuga is now a werewolf runt. She is starting to get the hang of this werewolf thing. Uh, this sim has a new temperament that affects how she navigates the world and which causes her fury to bubble over. Be sure to check out the new abilities too. So she's a grumpy wolf. The sim may need a little extra rest in order to stay balanced. Don't poke a sleeping wolf. <gasps> That's so fun. And look, we have all of these new abilities now. So... Following up on ferocity, we have voracious hunger. Devour objects to satisfy hunger? What? Feeling hungry? With this ability, Anuga will be able to eat almost anything. That new couch? Dinner. That priceless heirloom? Delicious. Is this a good idea? Who's to say? Will curiosity get the better of her? Undoubtedly. Oh my goodness. And then to go with the ability to nap anywhere, which might be a great thing to get now that she has a new trait of like being grumpy. Uh, Hunter, <gasps> learn to hunt for food? Oh, I could totally see her doing that if she was hanging out with the wild fangs. We all want our food to be fresh, but werewolves want it fresher. Wherever she is, Anuga will be able to hunt for food in nature's buffet and grab a bite and some meat for later whenever hunger strikes. Can you imagine when she and her brother and at this rate, potentially Vima, I thought Vima would be shaken off by now, uh, but if they go to Hinford on Bagley and hang out where Jean and Fern live in our Sims 4 series, which is where the series is supposed to lead eventually, somehow, <laughs> if she started hunting around Fern and Jean's house with all of their chickens, I think she and Fern are going to be mortal enemies, to be honest. All right, the will to resist, regain control while rampaging. With some added mental fortitude and a large dollop of willpower and a few breathing exercises, Anuga can now regain control after losing it and entering a rampage. If successful, Anuga will immediately stop rampaging. As if. And then enforced smell, sniff out information and treasure. <gasps> With a new heightened ability to smell, Anuka can put her nose to the ground and smell emotions on other sims. She could start smelling all the lies that are coming from her sister-in-law about flirting with other sims. Oh, that could be so dramatic. <laughs> Sniff out treasures buried in the backyard or detect nearby occult sims. Some things smell better than others, so get out there and sniff. Okay, I definitely want to do that one. Somber howl, learn a howl that reduces fury. Um, being a werewolf is hard, and sometimes Anuga just has to speak her truth. She'll be able to release a somber howl from time to time to try to calm down and reduce her fury. You know, I don't think I want that one, but we're definitely going to take the enhanced smell. And I want to do the hunter. I think those two sound really cool. So we're going to go ahead and snag both of those. And we're not hungry right now, but how does the advanced smell? I want to see how that works. And next, we want to try to work our way up to Prime, which is her next werewolf ability. Will that help us smell out scavenge? Or smell here? Oh, okay. So I think we want to like sniff around. Oh, look, look, something's glowing over here. No way, that's so cool. All right, come smell over here. So when her enhanced smell is going off, oh, this is so fine. Is that going to tell me anything? So I wonder if she's going to feel like if her nose is distracting her. Take a dog on a walk. <laughs> I wonder if it counts if she takes herself on a walk. So if she scavenges, did I not scavenge in the right space? I think I needed to scavenge like a little bit over where she's at. But I wonder if having all of the world to suddenly smell is going to distract her. Because now she's feeling great from a nifty treasure nearby. Anuga found uh, something while scavenging the Mooncaster Pot Shard turning. So is that the same one we already found? It is, but we'll take that home. Uh, and then she, she wants to go ahead and make hot dogs, like summer hot dogs. But I kind of feel like I want to pop over here and see if we can maybe make that while we're over here so we can potentially scare a bunch of people but i haven't even explored like over in this area there's so much to explore <laughs> there's so much going on can we actually find out more oh view wild things information werebees advisory 
Like, there's actually quite a bit. Oh, and I didn't even really notice that this tells you the current phase of the moon. Oh, this is so cool. All right, Anuga, what am I going to do with you now? Be mean to someone. She also wants to make some hot dogs. Grill. I'll let her grill some hot dogs real quick. Just to try that out. And she actually wants to collect a new metal. So I wonder if I can have her sniff more things out. I'm going to explore while she's making some hot dogs. Oh, is that just a stray dog? <gasps> There's a stray dog named Molly. And a minute ago, she wanted to walk a dog. It would have been really fun. And Molly has a little bit of magic in her because she's got a dragon tail on. <laughs> oh, that would be fun to come over and play with the stray puppers. Oh, okay. I want to go and meet Molly if we can. Or we got to finish like cooking these hot dogs. And now Molly's just kind of barking at things. Um... If I was going to work on getting Anuga some of these traits, I wonder, would it be observant? Maybe, but I don't think she's very, like, observant about the emotions of others, which kind of comes in with traits. Storm Chaser. Oh, I want to get a Storm Chaser. I've never done Storm Chaser for any kind of sim. And she wants to be mean to someone. Oh, look at her, like, kill those hot dogs. That was so funny. And I hate cooking. Okay, then why did you ask to go ahead and grill your hot dogs, my friend? She really hates cooking. I love that. Look at her. She's just like, oh, stupid hot dogs. All right. Send an angry text. Buy a thermostat. Play the guitar on the lounge. Oh, wait. Is somebody playing a guitar? Where is she getting that happy burst? Oh, it's from her having played the music. So now she wants to go to a lounge. Oh man, I wish I could. And buy a thermostat. Uh, become energized. Become inspired from the guitar skill. That's so sweet. I don't know where that other werewolf ran off to though. I wonder if we can like sniff more things. So werewolf, enhance smell. Is that going to help me out with finding... Yeah, he's, he's going away. Oh, and now she's feeling very angry. The beast beckons from a dangerous amount of fury. Anuga is losing her grip. Oh, is she going to transform for the first time? That would be so cool. Is losing her gri grip on humanity and will soon give in to the beast within. Make sure to keep her safe distance away from anyone. You wouldn't want anything really bad to happen, right? Oh, okay. So let's actually have her maybe run off. Where's like a little wild remote corner? that has a lot of spaces. The The sad thing is there's so much area that I feel like we could spend time exploring, uh, but a lot of it, can we go in here? All right, so let's have her like jog here. She's just trying to get away from everyone. So we'll come out to the lake, maybe even jog up here. What's growing up here? Oh, is this new? <gasps> Moon paddle, what? Come to me! A rare flower that only blooms under the full moon? Oh my gosh! That's so exciting! I didn't know there was a new plant! Somebody should have told me! I love the new plants! Alright, let's see. There's not really, like, a lot of... Oh, what's going on over here? Wow! It looks like the collective are actually spending some time, like wrestling with each other. I did not expect that. Oh, this is so cute. Look at that. All of the wood arranged to look like a wolf. So I think this is where the collective who really wants to be calm and polite all hang out with their dead and dying trees. They have a rose bush. They have the sweet mint. Just aren't doing the best. There's Molly the stray. Did we finish jogging? We did finish jogging. All right, well, can we maybe use enhanced smell? I really want to see what happens when Fury goes off because she's getting kind of furious. Is there anything we can dig up around here? I like that she can just like sniff around the place. Let's go up because maybe she's just feeling super angry and has this instinct to travel up towards the moon. Oh, that was really fast, to be honest. All right, let's... And if she smells around here... I wonder if she has a better howl now that she has... What? Okay, and meanwhile, Vima's listening to some earbuds. That's fine, Vima. Ow. 
So she still just has like a little baby howl. And her fury is still pretty high, but contained. She is indeed hot-headed. She wants to rant and rave at someone. She's enraged. I'm really glad that she can't die from anger. She can't die from anger, right? Because I'm a little concerned about that now. I'm going to let her do some like enraged push-ups because I think that will help her become energized. Oh, uh, werewolf. And I'm going to let her scavenge the ground a couple times. She's used that sense of smell. I would like to know, like, it'd be cool if it gave you a pop-up that, like, told you what she smelled. Uh, does it mean I can use it on somebody, too? Ooh, what's this? <gasps> Wild wolfsbane flower! Ooh! I want to harvest this. Maybe this, we're going to come over and we're going to have her come harvest the wolfsbane when she's done digging. She didn't find anything, unfortunately. And meanwhile, Miss Flirty in here, I feel like, would go ahead. And I'm actually going to have her call Ariel and maybe chat. Um, because I like the idea that maybe he's an old flame from many years ago, even though he's an elder. And Vima doesn't care. She remembers the good times. What can I do to push you over the edge, my dear? She kind of hates the world, this kid. She really hates the world. Because the other, in the weeds, crouching on the ground with worms and dirt, no thank you. Anuga is not reaping whatever it is she's sowing. It's time to admit that she dislikes gardening. Eh, I actually think she likes being in the weeds and with all of the bugs. So we're going to let her harvest this wolf's bane, which is the first time I've ever seen it. This flower is nothing special in its raw form. When used as an ingredient in food and drink, it will affect the nocturnally oriented. What? Can I eat it? What happens if we eat the wolf's bane? Will something good or bad happen? Oh, she got sick! Oh my gosh, so the warning is literally in the name! Oh my goodness. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and get rid of the wolf's bane. I was just curious, but it turns out it makes her super sick. I could see her absolutely wanting to like uproot this plant, but I like the idea it grows wild around here. Oh, can you imagine? I want her to start working on her own guitar abilities because what if she starts writing like rock, like hard rock or like hard metal songs? That'd be so cool. Can she write her own songs? Wow. That would be really fun. She sounds really peaceful and happy right now. But giving her like a actual guitar that would let her take her rage out on, on people seems fitting. All right, let's have her like use enhanced smell again. I guess she just can't scavenge for everything all day. Oh, it's a townie. You know what's about to happen to this kid. We're not gonna be friendly. Gosh darn it, can you only be like mean to adults? I, I don't wanna be friendly. I wanna go ahead and ferociously intimidate. Yeah, I want to be ferocious. All right, let's come over. We're going to sniff and introduce even though we don't want to. Because we actually want to go ahead and rant and rave at someone. And this kid just happened to walk by at the wrong moment. Attempt simlish communication. Oh, it's because she's so angry she can't, she can't think of anything else. Oh my gosh. That's so interesting. So as a werewolf, let's have her howl, maybe scare. Not that that's very scary. The other Sims. And then I'm going to let her... Hmm, her brother's home now. And, oh, gosh darn. All right, well, he would be somebody she could rant and rave at. So I'm going to let her come home. And I wonder if he's going to have to learn how to use his magic abilities to kind of, like, stun someone. Go sledding! Oh my gosh, level up in the cooking skill. Try to hack something. Sir, I don't think that's you. Sit in on a skill class. Probably you. <laughs> and he's very close to being able to go ahead. Where is Vima? She's just taking another nap. She is just, like, sleeping beauty over here, which is deeply ironic. Uh, but I feel like 
yeah, I feel like this guy would come home and the first thing that he would do is try to go ahead and cook a great meal for the family, even though they don't have very much money. Um, so dango, mushroom soup, what would he try to make? He would try to make something healthy and wonderful for everyone. We'll have him make some paneer. Uh, paneer, yeah, we'll have him make like, he, he, he thinks that like life is going to be fine, exhausted from a busy day trying to save Sims' lives. A lot of drama here, not knowing that his fiance almost flirted with some of the wolves. <gasps> and then Nougat and Molly have become friends. What? How? How did Anuga and Molly like end up becoming friends when they're so far apart? That's adorable. Oh, I don't want to be mean to her. But somehow Molly has sensed Anuga's like werewolfness from halfway across the area, just picking up on her scent from where Anuga had been hanging out all day. Oh my gosh. All right, we're going to have to go ahead and get to know Molly a little bit better. But for now, we need to kind of like lose our temper. How much more as fury grows, the animalistic instinct begins to manifest and will eventually take over, huh? Does be careful out there. She wants to kick. I'm just, I feel like we'll let her howl and then let's have her come in. Oh, she's so angry. <gasps> She's transforming! Werewolf Sims who reach Max Fury will erupt with rage and start rampaging. During this time, werewolves have very little control of themselves and their beastly instincts. Oh my gosh, you guys! It's happening! And meanwhile, there's some disappointed members of the collective walking past. Oh! She's actually transformed! <laughs> Oh my gosh! Now where is she going? She's gonna go stretch it. Oh my gosh. She just breaks in. Oh. My. Gosh. Can we do anything? We can't run away. We can't do anything. I feel like we should be able to like use our magic in some way. To like yeet something at her. Maybe practice untamed magic. Oh my gosh, and now Anuga's just gonna go nuts. And we have an incoming phone call. We do not want to talk to anybody who's part of the werewolf group. I feel like people might be calling him to be like, I think I saw your sister rampaging. Like, did she go through one of her transformations? Oh, she's so angry. And she's actually gaining a lot of werewolf skill from this. Oh my gosh. She still has the most polite, like, petite little howl too. Oh, and now she wants to snarl at her brother. Oh, and then he's just over here trying out his magic, trying to become more focused. Oh, and now Vima's even down here. Oh, oh no, you guys. And meanwhile, werewolf being scared to be next to a rampaging werewolf. This would bring back all sorts of terrifying memories, I think. And I think this would make Stefan feel like he is going to have to get serious about learning the potions that he could yeet at his sister to calm her down when she's in these rages. Oh! Oh, she can smell the witch on him, too! With her enhanced sense of smell! That is amazing! Now he's all glowing from being a witch! Oh, that's so cool! I'm so happy to see some cross-compatibility in between the packs here. I'm just not so happy to see that we do have... Here, okay, we're gonna go ahead... Go here savagely, werewolf. There's apparently something in the ground over here. Her werewolf abilities are just, like, off the charts. And brought friends together... <laughs> I don't know what he's been doing, but he had a good time at work, and now all of this is happening, and I feel like this is just a lot for him to have to deal with. I'm so sorry, Stefan. Maybe practice more of your untamed magic in case you can figure out a way to, like, quell your sister. But alright, guys, what drama going down at the Crescent Bay household? This poor Stefan just can't catch a break, and uh, we finally have seen what our werewolf can do! So if you guys could, do please leave a like for our somewhat <gasps> tamed cowplant jawbone pardon oh my gosh i have to go ahead and we're gonna have to play with the relics next time and i feel like we're about to get grounded to the house and anuga is going to like have to stay and not be able to leave maybe stefan will use some of his magic to make that happen 
until she finishes Beyond Big and Bad, rethinking harmful werewolf stereotypes. Because this behavior is not acceptable. But all right, guys, thank you so much for joining me. If you could, do please leave a like for the drama going down in the Crescent Bay household. And if you'd like to join us on this and literally thousands more adventures, do please consider subscribing. But most importantly, my friends, stay curious, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye!